development of the PZH-2000 Panzer Horbitz began in 1987. It evolved from the International SP-70 program, which was cancelled in 1980s due to funding problems. Prototype of the PZH-2000 was completed in 1993. Initially German Army planned to order a total of 1,254 new self-propelled howitzers, however in 1996, due to the end of Cold War, a contract was signed only for 185 artillery systems. First systems were delivered to the German Army in 1998. Export operators of the PZH-2000 are Croatia, 12, Greece, 25, Italy, 68, Lithuania, 21, Netherlands, 57, and Qatar, 24. This artillery system saw action in Afghanistan. In 2022 Germany and Netherlands delivered 12 of these artillery systems to Ukraine in order to defend against the Russian invasion. Italy also delivered 3 to 6 PZH-2000 howitzers to Ukraine. These were widely used against the Russian forces. During the same year Germany approved the sale of 100 additional PZH-2000 howitzers to Ukraine. However deliveries might take several years to complete. In 2023 Germany ordered additional 10 PZH-2000 howitzers. The PZH-2000 is fitted with a 155mm L-52 howitzer. Vehicle has a fully automatic loading system with ammunition management system. The PZH-2000 is compatible with standard NATO 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 30 km with standard HEFRAG shell and 40 km with base bleed shell. Using a South African VLAP rocket-assisted shell a range of 56 km can be achieved. Many other howitzers make initial shots and adjust their guns, depending on the data provided by forward observers. This is not the case with the PZH-2000. This howitzer is highly accurate. It can shell given coordinates straight away and there is no need for fire correction from artillery observers. This howitzer is compatible with German Smart 155 guided artillery shells. These are launched in the same manner as ordinary artillery shells. Maximum range is 27.5 km. These are long-range fire and forget munitions designed to destroy hostile tanks and armored vehicles. The Smart 155 shell contains two autonomous submunitions. One of them has infrared sensor while the other has a radar sensor. Once in the target area these submunitions are ejected and deploy parachutes. Each submunition corkscrews down over the target area, scanning for targets. Once the target vehicle is detected submunition detonates. The target is destroyed by an explosively formed penetrator, which is created by the blast. These submunitions strike turret roofs, where armor is relatively thin. The Smart 155 guided shells are known in German Army service, under the DM702 and DM702A1 designations. Maximum rate of fire is 9 shells per minute. It can launch 3 shells within 10 seconds. This howitzer is capable of multiple round simultaneous impact MRSI, firing. A total of 60 shells are stowed in the magazine. This artillery system has rapid reaction time. It can briefly stop from traveling and open fire against the designated targets. No special preparation is required. Also crew do not have to leave the vehicle to prepare the howitzer for firing. Once the firing mission is complete, the PZH-2000 can leave its firing position in seconds and redeploy to another location. Secondary armament consists of a roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun. The PZH-2000 receives target data via data link. The gun is automatically laid using the fire control data. Front armor of the PZH-2000 provides protection against 14.5mm rounds. All-round protection is against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Explosive reactive armor can be fitted if necessary. The PZH-2000 is also fitted with automatic fire suppression and NBC protection systems. The PZH-2000 has a crew of five, including commander, gunner, two loaders and driver. Target engagements can be carried out by a crew of two men. Loaders are employed only when autoloader fails. Chassis of the PZH-2000 uses some components of the Leopard 2 main battle tank. This artillery system is powered by the MTU MT881KA 500 supercharged diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. 
the PZH2000 is also fitted with auxiliary power unit, powering all systems, when the main engine is turned off. The PZH2000 is reloaded by two operators. Shells are automatically picked up from the back of the vehicle and stowed in the autoloader's magazine. Shells and associated charges are replenished within 12 minutes. Operational use in Ukraine revealed that these German howitzers require intensive maintenance. Ukraine operates various modern Western howitzers, such as the French Caesar, Polish Crab and Slovak Susanna II and American relatively modern M109A5. Out of the lot German PZH-2000 howitzer were the first ones that stopped firing after extensive use in combat, and required servicing in order to continue operation. In 2022 Germany approved the sale of 100 PZH-2000 howitzers to Ukraine. The howitzers were reportedly worth $1.72 billion. This comes down to $17.2 million per howitzer. Variants Monarch, modular naval artillery concept, study about mounting turret of the PZH-2000 howitzer on a naval ship. It was mounted on the deck of Hamburg, a Saxon-class frigate. AGM, artillery gun module, 155mm self-propelled howitzer. It is a modified variant of the PZH-2000. It was developed as a supplement to the PZH-2000 where heavier weaponry is not available, recommendable or too expensive. This artillery system is operated by a crew of two men. It is significantly lighter alternative to the PZH-2000, but provides the same performance. First prototype was mounted on a tracked chassis of the M270 MLRS. Though unmanned AGM turret can be integrated on various other chassis, or even used as a standalone unit. The AGM is air transportable. Dana 155mm self-propelled howitzer, further development of the artillery gun module, based on ASCOD 2 IFV track chassis. The Dana is mainly aimed at the export customers. Boxer RCH-155 is another integration of the artillery gun module, based on a Boxer 8x8 armored personnel carrier. This artillery system retains features and performance parameters of the PZH-2000. It was introduced in 2014. Initial firing trials took place during the same year. 